Hi, I'm Lisa Matthews. I'm the USA City Movement Catalyst with uh, movement.org, and I'm delighted to have this uh, quick conversation with you today about generosity during times of grief. Uh, the team at Movement West Michigan has asked me to share about a part of my life when I was facing the loss of my husband. He had cancer. And it was during that time that I experienced um, just amazing generosity from my community, from my friends, from my work. And, uh, you know, I was just reflecting on this over the weekend with a dear friend who went through that journey with me. And, um, you know, on the day when you are, when saying an earthly goodbye to someone, you can only focus on that moment. But there was this hub of activity going on around me with friends who were in that space with me. And I am so grateful for that because I believe it takes great courage to step into that sacred space with someone, um, you know, taking phone calls, uh, preparing a meal, washing the dishes, all of those activities. And, you know, one of the things that happens when you encounter someone who's in that, that place in their life is people will say, what do you need? Just, just call me if you need something. And I guess the advice that I would give if you are wondering how to journey with someone in that time in their life is, who are you? What are your gifts and talents? Are you a servant? Are you a prayer, an intercessor? Um, typically, when you get into that space, uh, rather than putting that burden on the person who is hurting to ask, find ways to be fully who you are using your gifts and talents to serve at that moment. Maybe it is just washing the dishes or making a bed or uh, bringing a meal or sending a card or praying when that person comes to your mind. Every act of generosity is needed and it is longed for but it is, but for the person in that space, it is very hard to know what to ask for because your energy has to be upon your loved one who is suffering. So, um, you know, the body of Christ is called the body of Christ for a reason. It takes all of us serving together. And if you have a friend who is in that space, I would say find out what your gifts and talents are and bring them. And if you are in that space, be okay with asking for help and with receiving the help from the community that God has placed around you. We're not meant to journey alone. And it's okay uh, to acknowledge that and to uh, have that interdependence that makes us better. And it allows us to tell that story, you know, when Jesus prayed for unity so that they would know of his great love for one another. Those are the moments when we get to demonstrate that the most. Thanks uh, team at Movement for letting me share a little bit of my story and uh, God bless.